So long and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create this impeller 3D modeling by using Katia. Okay, now let's open the new file. Then here we choose part. Then click OK. Now we can put the name. So I put impeller 2. Then click OK. Okay, now we in the new drawing. So here we choose XY plane to start the to start the sketch. Okay, so click to this sketch icon. Okay, now we can start to draw a circle from this center. Then we can put the constraint. So I put the diameter eighty millimeter. Okay. Now. I click to this exit workbench. Okay, now by using fat definition, I put the line eight. Then click to the preview. You can see the preview. Then click OK. Now I click to this plane. Then I click sketch. Here I draw another circle from the center. Then by using the constraint, I put the diameter twenty. Then click OK. Alright. So now click exit workbench. Okay, we are using pad definition. We put the length thirty. Then click preview. You can see the preview. Then click OK. Now I want to change. Okay, I use wireframe and surface design. Okay, so I click to this plane, then click sketch. Here I click to this point. Okay, then I just put here by using constraint. Okay, right click, then I choose coincidence. So you can see the point coincident. Now I click exit workbench. Okay, here you can see the point. Okay, so I click to this helix. Then axis, I right click over here. Then I choose Z axis. So you can see the preview. So here pitch, I change to two hundred fifty millimeter then for the height I put 30 so same with this height then for the taper angle I put 10 degree then click preview you can see the preview then just click OK now once again click to this plane then click sketch ok here I want to put a point right here so I click to this point, then I put right here. So by using coincident constraint, okay, right click, coincident, then you can see that that point. Then I click exit workbench. Now we are going to click to this plane, then click to this sketch. All right. So now by click to this point by using this point I click here I put here then by using constraint we coincident this point like this right click coincident okay all right so now we can click exit workbench okay so by using line okay here we can create now for the point one already detected for the sketch five then for the point two we click this point so this is sketch four then for the support we click to this space okay then you can click preview you can see the line then click ok All right so now we click another line okay the point one we choose this point for the point two we choose this point so you can see the line then simply click OK then 
we fit the third line so the point one we choose this point then for the point two we choose this point so you can see the point then simply click ok so now by using multi section surface okay here for the section we choose this this line and this line as the section then for the guide you can click here for the guide we choose this line and this ellipse okay all right so simply you can see the preview like this then simply click okay all right so now what i'm gonna to do i change i click start mechanical design i choose part design because i want to use this thick surface features okay so the first offset i just put one millimeter then object to offset I choose this object then click preview you can see the preview like this then simply click OK alright so here okay click to this icon then on this multi section surface I right click then click to the height so you can hide this multi section surface now what I'm going to do is I want to click I want to array okay so by using this circular pattern okay so for the parameters I choose complete crown then for the instant I put 10 10 item then for the reference element for the axis I choose Z axis okay so you can see the preview you can click to this preview to see the preview like this Okay, done. Just click OK. Alright, so now I want to create a hole right here. So I click here, then I click to this sketch icon. Okay, by using circle icon, click here, then I put the constraint. Double click, then I put 10. Then I just create a rectangle like this right here like this okay all right so by using this quick trim icon okay we trim this part this part this part and this part okay simple now we can click to this exit workbench by using pocket definition we can choose up to last so you can see the preview up to last like this until here so simply click ok alright so done with our 3d modeling for impeller ok so you can see the 3d modeling like this alright ok so thanks for watching my tutorial keep follow us for more update and tutorial thank you